and uh, we just want to welcome everybody. What we're going to do is I'm going to mute everybody right now. I'm going to mute everybody. So if you're if you're muted already, cool. If you're not, that's no problem. Um, what we want to do is is get if you have a question, feel free to write it into the chat. If you know how to do that, write the chat, write the uh, your question, or if you want to raise your hand, you could raise your hand, um, and you can uh, uh, um, and we'll, we'll get you that way. And actually, I may not be able to see everybody like that, but we'll we'll just do this. You can keep it like that. We'll keep it like this. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll we'll be if you want to raise your hand, you can hit the raise your hand button, or if you have a question, you could run it in the chat. We'll try to keep up with it. What we're going to do is Alyssa and I are going to walk you through some of the things that are be going on. As you know, there's a lot of things that we're trying to take uh, certain precautions of, and we've been out of it. I looked at it. The last time we were here was uh, March 11th. All right. That was the last time that we were actually in the building was March 11th. And that was quite actually it was before that. Actually, yeah. I was ready for March 11th. So it was actually March, it was March 4th or something. March yeah. 8th. March 8th. So we were ready. I think the last service was March 8th. It's the last time we were here. It's been a while. So uh, we just want to run through a few things. Now, this is only for K5. It's going to be check in. and check in. And check in. <laughs> so everybody for K5 and check in. Uh, you guys are going to be able to get a, a first eye view. We're going to show you some of the new construction. There's been a lot of construction going on. So we're really excited to show some of the construction that's going on, how it's going to affect the flow of the day. And uh, Alyssa and I are going to work together as, with uh, also what we're doing as far as safety protocol, COVID stuff. So um, again, if you have a question, you can raise your hand, hit the raise your hand button. We'll see that on here on my screen, or you can type it into the chat. Um, as we go along. So are you ready? Yeah. So what we start with? So we're going to start with check-in. So we have like the K5 team and the check-in team together because we need our check-in team to help us open K5 this weekend, even though we're not going to be opening the other classrooms quite yet. Um, we wanted our check-in team to also know kind of the flow of things and where all the new classrooms are going to be. So that way you guys are going to be informed just as well. Okay. So obviously we're outside right now and we wanted to start outside because this is where we're going to like do a full little walkthrough. Yeah. So for right now, we're not going to do an outside check-in. We're just going to set up an inside only area, but we've kind of moved everything over a little bit. Um, so we can have a little bit more space. So ready? Right, you ready? I'm ready. Right. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to follow Alyssa here. There we go. All right. So we'll follow Alyssa around. As we're walking in, you see there's no, there's no uh, outside check. And inside, we'll right off the back, we're gonna show you what have we done here. Okay, so we have our Spanish church that's gonna still be meeting in the auditorium while we are meeting in our other rooms. But we've moved our check-in area just down over to the side a little bit, so it's not so crowded into that corner. We're going to space it out. Obviously, there's a lot of other stuff going on because we have a lot of construction that we're still finishing up. But um, one of the things that we really want to change about the way that we've done check-in is we want to give our families uh, more of an opportunity to feel connected with us. Obviously, we can't like do high fives or anything like that. We need to respect the boundaries of social distancing. But um, we want our check-in team to actually stand on this side of the counter instead of on the other side. So this is just a way for us to be able to be a little bit more welcoming, to kind of like greet families as they're coming in the door and not to be so separated like we are behind the desk, um, saying hi to the kids and all of that kind of stuff, just as like a, a way to improve that connection because when we're standing behind the desk it feels like more unapproachable so sort of frozen in time right <laughs> yeah so long term we're probably going to change uh the way that this desk area is but for now we're going to switch over to standing on this side of the desk um the plan hopefully should the, the, don't tell them the plan don't yet tell them the plan yet. oh yeah we haven't talked to Gordon. We okay. haven't convinced Gordon, but we'll get <laughs> But there's, there's things we're going to do different with this desk area. Yes, but so. ideally the whole, the whole uh, goal of changing it is to be more connected with the families as they're entering. And so we can even just do that now by standing on this side of the desk instead right. of behind the desk. So you'll be in your TC3 kids shirt and greeting families as they come in. 
So you're like a welcome team and you're also available to help people with check-in. So you'll just stand in this general area. So if anyone needs help, you can just walk over and help them. Uh, we have hand sanitizer and we're gonna put more hand sanitizers out in between each um, station so people can make sure that they're keeping sanitized and germ-free. Right on. Okay. Now, the reason that another reason why we are moving every check-in station down here is because this has happened. This is where the foyer used to be. This is going to be two new classrooms eventually. So basically, we have our check-in station. Whoop, lost the focus there. Uh, focus there it is. These are two new classrooms. Uh, this first one over here uh, has still got a lot of stuff in there. This is going to be our new nursery. So our babies are going to be in here. They've got their own room carpeted this pole here has been wrapped up there's a little wrap up on the pole there um, a lot of big open space instead of being uh, long and narrow it's open and wide so there's a little bit more room to circle around all right not only that but we have the second room here we are going to be separating our two and three year olds this will be the two year old room only two year olds will go in this room again there's a pole here that we wrapped up uh, we are going to put some little safety devices on the corners for the sharp edges, uh, but two-year-olds will be in here. Um, again, a lot more room in here. Um, some places, if they want to do a racetrack, they can run around there if they wanted to. Uh, but this room right here will be just for two-year-olds. All right, and we'll we'll talk about the other rooms in a second. So should we just you want to go straight yeah, down? Let's wait. Okay, yeah, let's go this way. Check in real quick. Yes. Andy just is really excited about the new room. I am. I'm super excited. <laughs> Okay, so as far as checking in new families, we're gonna keep the same procedure with the using the registration cards. And we've switched over to writing um, kids' names on the yellow tags, just as a way to help the leaders that are in the classroom know who's a new family, just to kind of give them a little extra love, explain the way things work to them and help them to feel comfortable. So all this stuff will be here. If you have a new family come in, you can just have them stand over here to fill out their registration card. You handwrite their tag just like we used to do. And um, while they're filling that out, what we want to try to do is talk to the family, talk to the kids, get to know them, ask them what their names are, how old they are, those kinds of things. Like we're, we're really the first people that they're interacting with when they come to church. So we, we really want to make them feel welcome and loved. So that's another reason why we're going to try to stand on this side of the desk, just because it's, it's kind of hard to see the kids when you're back there because they're not that tall. So, <laughs> um, okay, let's see, get to know the kids, make them feel welcome. And we're just on the tags, you just hand write it. And all of the information that's in the card, you just leave this for me and I'll put their information into the system so that the next time they come, they can check in on the iPads. The most important thing is like, if they are out of town, they live out of town and they're like, oh, we're just coming for one week, then we won't put them in the system. But if there's someone who's gonna probably come back again, that's what we, we wanna know. So where it says like, um, just visiting and they have to check yes or no, you wanna kind of figure out if they're just visiting because they're just checking out the church, because then we would want to reach out and we would want them to come back, or if they're just visiting because they live in another state. Um, Okay, and then I think that's pretty much the gist of check-in. Really not much is changing with check-in. We just want to encourage people to use hand sanitizer. We'll have like a cup for like clean pens and a cup for used pens so that we're not reusing the same pens. And you're the only one who's going to use the Sharpie. So um, pretty much if you have a new family, you want to walk them to the classroom. So that's like Andy was just saying, the new nursery, the new toddler two room, which neither of those are open yet. We're just gonna only open K-5 this weekend. But then back down the hall, the old toddler room, which is on the left side, is for the three-year-olds. So three-year-olds are still staying in there. And then the pre-K, four and five-year-olds, anybody who's not in kindergarten yet is on the left side in the old, or I mean, sorry, yeah. the, the right, right side, side yeah. in the old nursery. So yeah. left side is T3, right side is pre-K, which is four and five-year-olds that are not in kindergarten yet. That's basically gonna make sure everybody's downstairs. We're not gonna have anybody upstairs anymore. Right. All students are downstairs, so no families. We're not walking upstairs anymore. We're not, <laughs> kids, everybody's on the same floor for security, security reasons and yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Okay. So that's pretty much all I've got for check-in. I'm going to cool. switch over with Andy yeah. right. so he Let's can. Switch out. You even? Okay, got it. Okay. Cool. All right. Hey, everybody. Okay, so 
what we're going to do is we're going to walk through and talk about the K5 procedures and what it looks like. We're going to show you what it is now and what it is going to be. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the COVID stuff at the end. So if you have questions about that, just hang in and we're going to be there. All right. So um, as you can see, we're going to start flowing in. As kids are going to walk in, there's a lot less room here. Um, and so for, that's why for check-in was another reason why I'm moving down because we have a little bit narrower of a path. Um, but for, uh, for, for walking kids in, it's pretty simple. We're going to walk through here, same, um, same way, same procedures. What we have going on in here now is, well, a big mess today. <laughs> but uh, we have carpet on the floor now. We have carpet on the floor. Um, the uh, old game room is going to be turned into a utility closet because the black curtains are all gone. The stage is all gone as well. So the stage is gone. The black curtains are gone. Um, the uh, let's see what else. The um, a lot of that wiring is gone as well. Uh, what has stayed is our tech booth back there. The speakers, the projector, the rock wall are all staying. The old game room closet that has the lights on over here. This uh, is now going to be a utility storage closet for everything. So everything we had upstairs is coming downstairs, and the youth and other things going to here. This room will be locked on Sunday mornings. So kids are gonna go in there, but we're pulling video games out. We have video games at the front, pretty games back here on the side. Um, we're going to have the hula hoops and the Connect Four. Kids will be able to have lots of room. Now the chairs for now, again, they're gonna be sp uh, spread out without a stage. There's a lot more room to, to work with. And the chairs are gonna be um, spaced apart. Uh, brothers and sisters may be able to pull chairs together, but for the most part, we want, we're, I don't want to do like one chair every six feet. We'll do like groups of chairs where kids can spread out, brothers and sisters can sit together, um, but everybody else can sort of have a lot of space. Uh, I, I, we have about 75 chairs in here that we could fit in. Um, the ones that we're not using, again, we're going to keep on the back wall. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the ones that we're not using stacked on the back. Uh, we'll probably have to start maybe 25 chairs. I, I really don't know. I think maybe 25 chairs, and that's all we're going to need to start. We're gonna have to, we have no clue how many kids are going to come at first. We really don't know. Um, so when we, we look at that, we're going to see that if we need more chairs, they'll all be right here on the back. Um, let's see. There is, um, I think that's about it as far as it, some of the really cool changes are going to be happening in this room. Now, the idea... I guess, can we do the big reveal now? Yeah. All right, it's time. I'm excited. It's time. So, it's time. So the big idea is that this room, it will, in the near future, in the next week, maybe two weeks, is not going to be the K-5 teaching room. This will be the congregation, <laughs> congregational. Shannon's like, mind blown. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so this, is, this will be the, uh, the room where the kids come and play. So let's say, I'm just going to 9 o'clock, for example. At, at, at 8.30, 8, 8.40, the doors open, kids start coming in, video games, hula hoops, frisbees throwing around, basketballs going, whatever. Everything's going happening. There's going to be a countdown on the screen, but about at right about 8.55, we will start a five-minute countdown, and at 8.55, uh, this is where we're sort of mixing it up, five-minute countdown is over, we will uh, put everything down. We'll have a group game in here of some sort. We'll, uh, depending on how many kids we have, we may have to move. There won't be any chairs in here. So the kids will, there will be chair, a few chairs for kids to sit, but we'll do a large group game. Announcements, encouragements. Um, I'm, I'm dropping the cool kid alert. We're going to stop doing the cool kids for a little bit. I'm going to try um, funky news instead. So we're going to do some funky news instead of cool kid alert. Some entertaining things. After, we, after we're done with that, this is not where we're going to be teaching and worshiping. All right, so we are going to move on down. At the time of dismissal, I say about 9.15 or so, maybe 9.20, we're going to have start kids lining up here. We're going to open our door here to where the bathroom hallway is, and we're going to, uh, kids will be flowing down this way. They're going to be walking down into the old sanctuary. Uh, before we do that, uh, the first person out here, there is a new thing here. Um, there is a garage door. And I'm just going to pull down this garage door here. It makes a noise. All right, we are not going to 
keep it locked, but this is for security purposes. So kids will walk down here. Parents will not be able to come this way. They're gonna, if they are gonna walk through the security or a uh, check key, we'll have to walk them through the games area, through the bathroom halls to get to the, these three rooms. This room, the three-year-old rooms, and the four or five-year-olds, but they really shouldn't be your rooms. We want to deter that, we want them to walk away. This will be the bathroom. The Spanish are going to get two bathrooms on their side. They're going to have two bathrooms for their, uh, for their church. And uh, this will be closed for the entire service. Until at the end. At the end, when we're done, we're going to open it back up. A very easy door to open and close. It moves very smoothly. So, so the idea is that before the kids are crossing from the gathering room where they're all entering when they get here before they're crossing over the hallway to get to the new auditorium teaching room a leader will need to come out and close the garage door or make sure the garage door is not closed already because sometimes someone from check-in may be yeah. able to close it beforehand but basically we just want to be able to keep the kids safe in this area over here without opening up the opportunity for them to go that way um so we'll close the garage door before the kids are switching from one room to the other so we've got the playroom over here and then we're gonna now go into the teaching room and like andy was just saying for this sunday we have all the chairs that are gonna have to be set up in this first room because our construction isn't quite finished yet for our teaching room but we still wanted to show you guys and let you know our long-term plan is that we're going to have two rooms for k5 so you guys are ready uh, i can't see you guys are, are they ready Alyssa? are you guys ready, ready? yeah yep got, i'm getting thumbs up all, all around right, let's go all right so this will be open for a second then we'll close behind doors this is the new k5 teaching room so welcome we have cut the sanctuary in half there is a giant wall Right here, the Spanish church will be on the back side with stadium seating. The kids have these amazing 17 inch, I think they're 24 inch wide uh, or 25 inch wide seating spots. No chairs. And I know there's a lot of echo in here, but we're not going to put carpet. So kids will be sitting here, no chairs. Uh, there's plenty of space from their feet to the person in front. Um, we are going to encourage kids when we get in here to sit towards the middle so they're not all hanging off to the side of the wall. But they can sit up top, they can sit in the middle, but this will be their sitting area. And this is where we're going to be doing our worship and our uh, the teaching, the lesson portion. So on the stage here, this is going to be, again, you see there's going to be carpet on the floor, but there's no stage. If you notice there's no stage, this is going to be a wide open area for people like me or whoever is teaching, uh, or, 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 or uh, if anybody guessed, or if, we're, if we do a game in here, we have this entire area for, uh, for, for teaching and for leading. There's gonna be a video screen on the wall. We're looking at a four by two by two TV video screen. It's gonna go up on the wall. Um, there's a confidence monitor on the back wall up there so we can see what's going on. And in the corner, well, this corner here will be our, uh, the, the, the tech desk. All right, that's where the computers, our speakers are gonna be just two. Uh, we have two JBLs are gonna be on the ground. So it's gonna blow your mind once it's in here. The carpet will dampen the sound, um, but it is gonna be a little bit louder, but it's gonna be fun. We also have motion lights. We're gonna have motion lights and, and we're gonna have uh, the rainbow lights. We're gonna be able to play with lights in here. This is a room, now normally we do games uh, after worship, but we're switching that around. I'm switching it around. All the games and all so a little bit more of the fun stuff that's gonna happen over there. Um, and then when we come in here, the idea is that when they come into this room, the light bulb is switched. They're, it's like, okay, so that's the fun, right? This is not the boring side, this is the teaching side. This is where we get into the scriptures and we get into the lesson. Uh, this is where we get to get into the deep teaching. We will still have plenty of room in here to do campfire breakouts for small groups. Um, leaders, you can put kids up here on, on stages, on steps in one area. You can put them here on the floor. You can put them up in the, all the way in the front corner, the back corner, up against the wall, because their questions will be on the confidence monitor. They'll be over here on the, on the large screen. 
They'll be all over the place. It'll be easy, real easy for you to find a spot to break out into small groups, real, real easy. Um, and then when we're done, after we do our worship and our, the, the teaching and the small group campfires, once we're done with that, then we will close in prayer. And then, then we get to go back and take the kids. The checkout will happen back in the game room. So, and we're, I'm trying to come up with a creative name. If you've got a good name for that, I'd like to hear your ideas for a game room. Uh, I don't want to call this game room. I'd like to call it maybe something a little bit more, not like Chuck E. Cheese style, you know, something yeah. like that. We're thinking like, obviously it's like the game room, the playroom, but we want to foster a sense of community and really encourage the kids to bond with the leaders and with each other. And it's like a gathering room where yeah. they can be goofy and have fun. And then when they come into this room, that's going to be the more serious teaching room. And obviously we want them to like really get into worship and mm -hmm. they can be totally be themselves, but it's, we're, we're trying to yes. foster a sense of not um, goofing off, you know, right. like where we're really getting serious into like getting to know God. One better. thing I want to do point out as far as when it comes to worship, I, what we want to do is because we have such a large open floor here for worship it'd be nice to have all the kids come down on the floor because i don't think we're going to be worshiping with kids up on the steps as we grow we're going to have to adjust that this depends on it we got to get bodies in here once the bodies are in here we'll be able to see it a little better the idea is that for worship kids will come down here on the floor when the worship is over they can go back to the seats stomp 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 make some noise they sit down we get into the lesson portion hey this is what god has in store for you um, as we go through our Bible in a year, you know, we're still going through a Bible in a year. Um, and then we get to uh, go through that in the campfires and then we line up again. All right. So when we line up, um, everybody good still? Everybody good? Everybody good. Okay. Yep. Cool. All right. around. So as we line up, we'll line up here. We'll have one leader at the start right here. Again, the garage door is down. So all the kids are going to naturally want to go back over here anyways, but the garage door is down. So it's a, a, a tunnel vision. They come back down here, uh, bathrooms, water, go inside. The last leader to come out of the, um, the, the teaching room is going to be responsible for opening the garage door. Just reach down, grab it, pull it up. It's not going to be locked, closed. It's just latched and just pull it up. The last person out is going to open it up and then follow into the game room or the gathering room. Um, kids will come back in here and be able to do things and we'll wait for parents to come pick up. Pick up will not be any different than before. You'll have it at the back door or the, the, the door they entered in. Use a microphone, call names a couple at a time, as many as we can, line them up, um, and then check the name tags, check, make sure the name tags are good, and then that's it, that's it. Um, and then the kids will be out, and then we'll switch to the 1030 service. 1030 service, same thing. Um, and then they'll, they'll, at 1130, we'll be back in here, um, and then they're gone. <laughs> so it, I'm, I'm really excited for being able to, to have a, a place where kids are going to uh, see something different, you know, they're gonna and, and all the new kids to come in. They're gonna have something brand new to look at and brand new to use um, So that that's that's about it. That that's uh, I mean it, This is we've been busy. All I can say <laughs> we've been very very busy. So um, Thanks for all hanging out. But before we get going, we do want to go over a few of the COVID things. So if you want to, we, you want to put that down? Yeah. Right, yep. So mm -hmm. quite, <laughs> My arms are shaking all right, all right. Sorry um, guys We'll put this down here and uh, doo -doo -doo. flip it around, back around. Sorry, guys, look, don't get dizzy on us. All right. Um, cool. So, hey, you know, we, let's take a seat. Let me grab yeah. that chair here. Yeah. All right. So, and we'll just adjust the camera a little bit here. All right. So, we're just going to go through and oh, there you go. I just do that. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, thanks y'all. Y'all's doing great, man. Um, so what we're gonna do is go through some of our COVID-19 pro, uh, protocol procedures, safety measures, so that we're all on the same page. These are things that we have looked at. Um, Alyssa and I have been researching other churches. I've been talking to my friends across the, the state, across the country. Uh, you've been looking at other things, what other people are doing. We've been asking a lot of questions. We're not gonna do everything that everybody else is doing. And we're not going to do everything uh, the right way, according to everybody. We, it's impossible to please everyone. We are going to do the best we can 
um, without being going to the far extremes of everybody living inside a bubble. Um, that is the only surefire way to make everybody happy. Um, so no, rule, uh, what we're gonna do is number one here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, we are, uh, we are going to require, this is the part that was the hardest thing for everybody, is we are going to require that everybody, including myself, we are going to wear a mask. But here's the thing, we're not gonna wear it the entire time. We are gonna wear it in, uh, while we're in teaching, or, 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 or game mode in here in this room. And the welcome team, or the check-in team, sorry, they're going to be wearing a mask. Um, the As we're bringing kids in, we're going to have a mask on while they're playing video games, whatnot. Um, so we can't require the kids to wear masks, but all of our serve teams, even in the other building too, are wearing masks. So we are going to do that. And Andy's just going to take his mask off when he's actually in the teaching. But we're asking all of our leaders and serve team to wear masks um at least for now if you need to take it off for a minute if you need to breathe if you just need like you're getting dizzy please you know it is okay just step back to the back of the room because like i said up here in the front the kids are going to be sitting if you go back to the back near the uh the bathroom wall uh you can you know take your mask off for a minute and just uh be there i just have it off i'm going to have it off just so it's a little easier for for talking and the kids feel a little bit more welcome but i'm going to be distant from the children i'm not going to have like this next to them you know they're going to be they're, they're going to be as long as you're six yeah. feet away six feet right. exactly six feet um, um let me see here so we have the masks uh we also going to be as far as hand sanitizers we are going to um the hand sanitizers are going to be we're going to have some pumps here we have lots of these little pumps here lots of them we're going to ask that every child gets hands uh, hand sanitizer as they come in to the room and then hand sanitizer as they go out of the room and before they leave. So whoever's doing checking tags uh, will get a little yeah. squirt in hand. So they'll also do a hand sanitizer after the free time at the beginning before we transition into the worship and message time. So there's three times throughout the, the morning that we're going to ask that they have to use hand sanitizer when they get here, after they play, and before they leave. It's a lot, but again, we're, we're not doing, we're not going to go crazy with everything. We're just going to go with what we feel is safest and just going to provide a great sense of, of safety and assurance for the parents. I think most of the kids that I've talked to, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but most kids I've talked to, they're, they, they, they're comfortable with just about anything. Some of them are, are very cautious. Uh, the parents have really instilled in their, in their head that they need to wear a mask wherever they go. Um, uh, but but for the most part, kids are going to be kids. They roll in dirt. I mean, they 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 do this. I mean, they just they they're not very. They haven't matured into like uh, common sense of how to protect themselves. You know. And we want to yeah. do the best we can to encourage them to practice safe habits. But at the end of the day, exactly like Annie was saying, they're kids. They're kids. So if you see so up in each other's faces or things like that, obviously we want to oh. discourage that. But um, so just as a heads up with the hand sanitizer, um, there are kids, and I know you guys know this already, um, but I'm just bringing it up for everybody else's um, knowledge. There are kids who have like eczema and stuff like that, and they cannot use the hand sanitizer. And so some children will go, no, I can't use that because they know that it burns their hands. Right. Um, so, you know, you guys know with your regular students who has that issue, um, but with visitors, especially if it's a younger child, you know, they might not say that or they might not even say it because they don't feel comfortable because they're new or whatever. Um, so just a heads up, you know, um, that every child can't use hand sanitizer and they might have to go to the bathroom. Right, and it, yes. exactly. In that situation, we would want to encourage them to go to the bathroom and wash their hands. Exactly, and I mean, I know that you and Andy know that. I'm just saying it for the other participants no. that are here that would be workers. That's a great point, Elizabeth. That's a really, really great point. Um, so we, uh, uh, the, uh, one of the things, I think the words that we have both not said yet is respect. Uh, we want to be able to respect families um, and children as much as possible by adhering to 
things that they're doing out there in the world right now, try to bring some of that inside, things that they're gonna be doing in the classrooms when they school start back up again. Um, but also know that there are certain circumstances, some kids are not able to do certain things because of their physical um, disabilities or whatnot. All right, so we've got hand sanitizer three times in one service as they come in, after we do free time, and then as they're leaving, just warm pump, just, it's just one more time. Um, let's see, we're going to, after free time, after we do free time, when, when the kids come in, I'm gonna do uh, funky news and some other things like that, uh, just to get them engaged. While that is happening, I'm gonna ask that our, our leaders walk around and they're just going to do a quick sanitize or desanitation of the thing. Wiping down with the Clorox wipes, some of the video games, the hula hoops, whatever, just do a quick wipe down. As we're calming kids down, you guys, I'm gonna ask you guys to go out there and just do a quick wipe down of things, uh, spritz, um, and, and just do a real fast wipe down of the things that they've been touching. Um, let's see, and um, as they're switching, if you see the kids are switching video games, uh, like controllers, Maybe do it. They're going to ask them to do a quick wipe down of the video games or the controller before they pass it off to the next player. Um, if you just see that. So just be engaged with them. Make sure you're always engaged, walking, uh, not clustered together two leaders at a time. We really want all of our leaders to be uh, uh, strategically spaced apart as far as, as, far as you can. Uh, just being observant of things. Um, let me see here. Is that, that's it for the for yeah. that part? Then the last thing is we're just asking leaders to stay after and help us wipe everything down again before the next service starts. Um, just that way we're making sure that it's a fresh face for all the kids that are coming in for the 1030 a.m. service. Well, I, I don't know if you've noticed, if you were here at the nine o'clock service, if you've been here the last three, three weeks of the nine o'clock service, after nine o'clock service before 1030 starts, we have uh, somebody walking around with a large oxygen tank and a spray hose, and we are spraying every one of the chairs down. A quick spray of a, uh, of a solution. We have the same thing, a little small tank of a backpack style. Basically, we just spray the, these plastic chairs down, just quick spray, and it's done. Um, that we don't have to wipe anything, yeah. quick spray, it kills anything that's on there. And it's a safe solution that dries in like three minutes. Yes. So. It, it's not harmful. It's not toxic. Um, it's something that a lot of uh, uh, corporate businesses have adapted and started using. Uh, we decided to adapt that and make a policy here. The Spanish church that has been in this house, in this room right here, they were in this room. They're, they're, this Sunday, they're going to move to the new building or to the new spot, I'm seeing. Um, they've been sanitizing in between their service. They've been meeting at 9 o'clock and 1030, uh, so they would have enough space. Instead of doing one service like they're used to, they've been doing two services they went through and they sprayed their seats down as well. So we're just gonna follow the same protocol. All right. Um, jump for Jesus. Ooh, I like that. Who's that? Liz, jump for Jesus is the, name, is the name for the room. I like that. Okay, we have some questions here. We're gonna go through here. We have a few things. Uh, again, if you have something, try, uh, type it in. Um, if you're watching this and it's not live, if you're not here to live, I want to encourage you to email me, Andy, at tc3.church or Alyssa, A-L-Y-S-S-A -S -S at tc3.church, A-L-Y-S-S-A -S 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 at tc3.church. Um, and you can just email those questions to either one of us and we'll, we'll uh, answer your questions and get back to you as, as soon as we can. I think that question about social distancing with the seating was talking about the stadium seating and the other side. Okay. And we're just going to ask the kids to spread out. Um, at this time, we're not even really sure how many kids we're going to be expecting, but there should be plenty of space for us to spread them out on that stadium seating. And if not, then we'll put some kids down on the floor and, and all that kind of stuff. So if they set up like windows that when they're, whether they're not sitting directly behind someone, then it's like three feet on each side. Yeah. Sabrina, you were asking, could we have a sign uh, by the sign? The, uh, by the sign in. A sign by the sign in, in uh, that hand sanitizer will be used. That's a, that's a real good point. We could definitely say that um, hand sanitizer will be used. And we're just, in, uh, we could just, could, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah just we talked it. about like creating some signage just to help parents feel more comfortable with uh, knowing that we're taking active steps to make sure that we're keeping their kids safe. So that's definitely a good idea. We can add that. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Good. Good. Thank you for that. Um, 
Liz, uh, yeah, jump time, jump for Jesus. Good stuff, good job. Can you, can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, um, about the hand sanitizer suggestion for the sign, if, if parents were to come in and, and, and just simply say, you know, oh no, my child cannot have hand sanitizer on their hands, maybe we just put like a big X on their, uh, their tab for their shirt. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they just put like a big X like this. It's just so that way, because if we have to check their name tags anyway, if we're sanitizing, we can just check their, na their, their tags before we sanitize to make sure they're not X'd out. Just something along those lines or like a check mark or something. Some kind of way to show all the leaders that that yeah. child is like not going to use hand sanitizer. Right. Because I, I, I mean, I even have eczema on my hands. So Liz made a great point on, I have to get creative. Like I can use it, but I can't use it Three too times much. Hours. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it, 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 that if might you be a uniform more comfortable, way. I'm sorry, Shannon, I interrupted you there. Oh no, it's okay. So I'm just saying if a parent were to, if we have something consistent like that, it would just be um, something since we have to check the tags anyway. Mm. So if you had something consistent like that, it would be noted under an allergy type thing, which would be on their tag anyway, right? So not necessarily because not like people usually just put food allergies on there. They don't always put like eczema. That may not necessarily be something that's in the system for them. No, but I meant if they actually put that, then you would add it to oh, yeah. the child's profile. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it would yeah. be automatically on an ongoing basis an allergy um yeah, that, that, could be, that could be in our database. We, uh, Alyssa is the one who keeps up with, uh, she adds all the new families in. Um, and so she's, and she's uh, amazing, just by the way. I just want you to know, I I've, think that I've noticed. I've noticed she's pretty, a uh, pretty superstar. Oh, boy. Quality, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, that having I, I just think that having a larger visual because when we're trying to when we're trying to go very quickly with the sanitizer mm -hmm. we're going to need a very quick visual aid to just be like boom 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 you know bumping one kid right after the next with the with the sanitizer and mm -hmm. a larger visual aid might be necessary because we're not looking for the kids who can have it we're looking for the kids who can't so if I see a large x or a large check mark that's what I'm going to be looking for mm -hmm. I mean just as a as a suggestion, maybe something to think about. No, definitely, definitely. I um, I think I like the idea of a check mark more than an X because again, yes, we, yeah. kid, we don't want to make exactly. a big red check mark. Let's make a black. precisely. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why I, I switched yeah. gears because then I realized a big check mark is kind of like you know yeah. X marks yeah. the spot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, exactly. Yeah, I switched gears on that. You guys are catching on. Yeah, you guys. Got <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, the, Anybody else, if you want to unmute yourself, um, you may, or if you have a question you want to throw in there. Um, that's because that's basically everything we have. And can we just say we're super thankful for you guys jumping on and being a part of this and for everything that you do to make TC3 Kids happen because we couldn't do it without you. We really couldn't. Thank yeah, you. Definitely. So what I want to do is um, I want to – uh, if there are no more questions, if anybody wants to unmute themselves, any, anybody want to need to say anything or ask anything, any questions? Are you going to have the room all done by this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. one, not that one yeah. over there, but this yeah. one. Will be ready. This one yeah. will be ready. This one will be ready. Um, Spanish church coming in. They got to get all of their gear out. They're not coming in until tomorrow. Uh, so they're going to get the gear out. I'll probably come in here on Saturday. I'll, I'll like force labor my kids to come out. <laughs> Oh, was that was that recorded? Oh, oh no. Um, but Reward we'll, we'll, them with Chick Fil A. Yeah, Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A. Yeah. Um, because they're. Like, I have nothing to do on Saturday. I can help you, Andy. Oh, thank you, thank you. Cool, cool. Yeah, just we need to pick up some trash and move things. Like around. for real, I I really can help. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll remember that. I'll remember that definitely. Um, awesome. And then I'll send over an email. I have some names in mind, um, but I have uh, quite a few that are just like. Roll them in. Um, for roll for them the in. room. So Alyssa I'm just going to email you. Alyssa at church. Andy yep. at tcp.church. <laughs> just roll them in. Yep. Man. Yep. Roll I'll them send in. them over. Awesome. Um, so let, what I want to do is I want to close in prayer. This is not just for the people who are here live right now, but also if you're, when you're watching this video um, as a recording, 
um, that we're going to close in prayer because we want, definitely want to remember that, um, that we, we want to ask for God's protection over our, our children, our church, our community, our world. And so for you guys to just join us with that. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this time, for all the people, all the investment, all the heart that we have in serving um, this, this community, Lord. God, we, there, this is not normal. And normal, who knows what normal is anymore? Who knows what's going to be? But we know, Lord, that that is not our focus. Our focus is serving you and helping to plant seeds. As, as Dr. Gomes was talking to me last week, um, when he was here, he was just sharing his heart with me, Lord. He just kept saying the words keep planting seeds. And I don't know why, but for right now, I just remember, just now it just comes back to me that we need to keep planting seeds. Lord, we have to do it safely. We have to do it with wisdom. We need to do it by just, just being respectful of, of the things, of the, uh, of the people's wishes, of, of children and their limitations and the things that their expectations. Lord, we, we pray, God, that we can do these things. Help us, Lord Jesus, to harness a, a community of love. Lord, we pray, God, for our leaders here in the church. We pray, God, for our leaders in, in, in politics. Lord, we pray for our, our community. We pray, God, that your hand will just come in and just change our, our our nation, Lord. We ask God that you just, Isaiah 58, we just fast and we humbly come to you, that we will fast and we will uh, just hunger to serve you more and it's desire you more. And so we pray, God, for this, Lord. We pray, God, that you just continue to use us, Lord, in a great and mighty way and help us, Lord Jesus, to reach out into the community, reach out into the world, that these little hands and these little feet and these minds Lord, will come in just thirsty for more of you and just uh, just, 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 just unsatisfied with the, what the world has to say, but, but just, just lavishing their, their, their hunger and their, their, their love for you. And I pray, God, you help us to do these things, to generate a generation, Lord, to create a generation that will seek you out and know you first and foremost and desire to make you known. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Whew. All right, man. You guys are awesome. An amazing team. Um, again, here live or here watching uh, later on. We love you guys, and we encourage you to continue to serve with us and, and continue to reach out and find – we're, we're, we're going to need some new faces, too. Um, there are some people who are not going to be coming back, um, so we want to help ask you guys to reach out to your, your circle of friends um, to start uh, volunteering and, and serving in our TC3 Kids Ministry and be a leader with our, with our kids here. Um, this is an encouragement. Um, I was at the info desk the very first week that we opened, and there were seven families who actually came up to the info desk that were visitors and spoke with me and said, hey, we're visiting here for the first time. Um, some had children, some didn't. But, I mean, seven people, the number of completion, like, hello! <laughs> um, and so each week, there are people because of this, um, and we're still planting the seeds, and they want them. And so um, I, just, I just know that whatever God has in store um, for TC3 and our our church and our children's ministry that he is going to bring people in um, that are going to experience the life-changing power of Jesus Christ and you know good for you guys I'm so proud of you thank you um, but um. but yeah we're gonna keep cleaning seeds but people are coming they and are. just been here in the info desk, I was flabbergasted. That's so been a really cool thing since you have had that online platform for the last couple of months that people who wouldn't ordinarily come to church have been checking us out online and they're like, hey, I saw you on Facebook or I saw you on TC3 Live and yeah. I wanted to come and check it out. So Yeah, I mean, people are searching and they could have actually come through the door, gone into the sanctuary and not actually even come up to the info desk. Mm -hmm. So yeah. because they actually braved themselves to the info desk means they are searching. They want to know more. So yeah. that's, that's super, super good for the kingdom. So awesome. Here's you guys. Well, we really, really appreciate you guys. Thanks yes. again for joining thank us you. today. So you guys, thank you for everything. Thanks for coming, take your time out.
and watching this again live or or recorded we thank you for taking the time to watching all this and keep those questions coming we love you guys and we will see you guys at, on oh, sunday on sunday, oh, on yeah. sunday. We'll see you on sunday. <laughs> definitely for Jesus. Guys, that's right you guys have a great night guys appreciate it. we we will talk to you later bye right. bye, bye.